the thing is, uh, <clears throat> this is not something that you have to practice. Is it true, is it a fact that the body that you carry today, which you imagine is yours, is the soil of this planet and must have been carried by many, many, many creatures, not just men and women, by every other creature, plant, animal, insect, worm, should have used this soil at some point in this a few million years or billion years of existence of this planet. For sure it is so, isn't it? So what you think is your body is just planet's way of recycling itself. So right now, it is with you. If you want to cl claim it is mine, you can claim it, but Mother Earth will teach you a lesson one day and show you that it's not yours, not an atom of it can you take anywhere. So th these are fundamental facts. So what I told you in the satsang is not that you have to practice this. This is a reality, this is a truth about your life. This truth, truth cannot be practiced, truth cannot be invented. It… you can only remind yourself, you can realize and remind. So, if you have realized, if experiential realization has not happened, at least intellectually you have realized that the body that you carry, the air that you're breathing right now, which is an important part of your life, the water that you drink, the food that you eat, just flows through you and makes you who you are. For this moment, it is not something that is either you nor is it yours. You must be grateful that you're allowed to use this to whatever extent you wish. I only hear hope uh, people will use it sensibly. The important thing is to be conscious that this is the reality. Whatever we are unconscious of, we will become ignorant of it after some time. So if you are conscious that this is not even yours, to use it, a sense of gratitude will arise within you. And once you know this is not you and this is not yours, the… your ability to use it also will be greatly enhanced and you will naturally start exploring what is the nature of who you are. This is not something that I have to guide it. I don't have to tell you, please seek your inner nature. If you know that everything that you think or imagine as myself right now is actually not even yours, if that realization sinks into you, longing to know what is the nature of who you are is a very natural process and uh, it will be a successful process because you have set the necessary ambience. Without setting this ambience, being deeply attached, being deeply engaged with the body, thinking it is me or mine and trying to… talking about self-realization, is like mooring your boat and then going on uh, using the… you know, going on rowing the boat, it's not going to go anywhere. Obviously, you have no intention of going anywhere unless you untie your ropes. So this is just the fundamental ambience that is necessary for one to move forward. Without setting this, it is… Uh, it is like uh, you're tied up and you want to row the boat, it's not going to go anywhere. So, do not practice this, just remind yourself, this is the reality. Spend some time with this truth, it is true that it is not actually yours, it only passes through you. And uh, see how… how much of the time you can stay conscious of that. Remind yourself, that's all. There is nothing to practice. It is there staring in your eyes with every breath. Can you just inhale and hold the air that you inhale? You have to exhale, that is telling you that you can't even hold it for a moment, it can't be yours. If the air that you breathe is not yours, the water that you drink, how did it become yours? The food that you eat, how did it become yours? The land that you walk upon, how did it become yours? So, this is not a new idea or concept, this is a reality which is constantly staring you in the face, but most people choose to ignore. When you ignore reality, that is when you become ignorant <laughs>